All right, so today we're in Photoshop Elements 9. And we'll be creating a photo collage out of these six photos that I've already imported into Photoshop Elements 9. And there are tons of different layouts you can do. And we'll be looking at layouts later on. This is a fairly simple process. We'll be using the guided tour. A step-by-step -step process under create so click create and you can see that there are tons of processes you can do so photo prints photo book green card photo calendar photo collage slideshow photo stamps CD jacket DVD jacket and photo collage so 12 by 12 select your settings and then auto fill whatever settings you want and then click OK it'll import them for you This may take a few seconds depending on how many photos you actually have. I think the maximum is like 22. As you can see I have a few extra spots. You can actually come down here and click on them and import other photos if you wish. You would just select whatever photo you want and I think you can use the shift key to select more. Click place, but I think I'll just delete these. Show bounding box needs to be checked. It's a lot easier to delete things. Or these, these things anyway. So, we can click this box right here. And then hit the delete key. And hit yes, and it's gone. Now for the other one. Alright, so these folder now we have a little more space, so these pictures can be manipulated any which way. And we can rotate them, resize them. There's no there's not too many limits. I'll probably skip some of this ahead so you guys don't have to look at every little thing I do. I'm actually going to clear this one off because it's a little crowded. But you can, you have a ton of options there. We'll delete that. And we can, if we're not satisfied with this, we can change the layout. And there's actually a lot more that I'm going to show you. And I know that on the Adobe Exchange you can download a lot more presets and even different collage effects. These are backgrounds that I'm going through. I don't really like any of these. And most of the Adobe Exchange downloads are free. You have to pay for it. There's usually a paid for version and a free version doesn't seem to be a whole lot of difference. I downloaded a few things yesterday um, and they worked out really well. This is both for Photoshop 9 and Elements 9 and CS5. So I'm probably just going to cover this up and the background anyway just by resizing the photos. You probably didn't want to see me resize for like two minutes. I skipped it ahead a little bit. Now we're going to mess with the uh, frames. And once again, I don't really like any of these presets, but we'll find one and put. Alright, so if we scroll back up, we get graphics. And once again, we have flowers. We already have flowers in our photo, but I'll probably still put one in.
It looks like a starfish, but they say it's a orchid. Looks like a starfish to me. So drag that one in there. And then you can resize and manipulate these any which way. Once again, I don't know why you'd ever need a paper clip. But there you go. So we can click it and resize it. That looks better. So we have pages, layouts, artwork, and text. Text is the last one. Or actually, we'll be looking at some advanced mode later on. You can change the font style, size, alignment, color, and you can even warp text. All these have different gradients and colors. click on font here at the top. I'm going to change mine to 72 and just name it the island. If I can type. Alright and this is a smart object so you can just move it any which way you want. move tool. Once we've got it the way we want it, we just click it and it'll confirm, click off of it. Still adjust it. So going into advanced mode, um, you can do different bevels and colors and even different effects. We're going to clear the frame on this one. That way you can see the bevel. Because with the frame in place you can't see the bevel. Not in that way anyway. Not the way I had it set up. So these are bevels. And you would want to just click on one and then apply it. And those are different effects. And I'm not going to be using any effects today. So we'll just save it. And choose whatever you want to ch choose to name it as. You can save it as JPEG or BMP. Those are the most popular, I think. You can also keep it as a PSD. So we'll click JPEG, click Save, and then it'll ask you what quality you want it to be set as. I'm going to go from 8 to 12 because I like maximum quality. Mainly because you can never change it from a lower to a higher once it's already been set as a low quality photo so I always set them as a max and there's a finished product not bad for a few minutes well nine minutes and twenty seconds or around that and it takes me back out of the got it edit and it sets me back up and I can edit in here or I can just open the finished product which would be right here Click open and there you go. Thanks for watching.